Hi everyone, today is July 11th and this is our garden update. Enjoy. Over here you can see how our wajalias have grown. Now they're um, uh, just a bit higher than the bird feeder, or well, the bird house. And they're doing quite well. They've blossomed already, um, but there's still a few blooms left on the plants. And they might go ahead and bloom one more time this year. But those are doing quite well. Then we have our lilies, tiger lilies. Those look incredible. The taller ones are tiger lilies. I'm not sure which variety the smaller one is, but you can see how beautiful orange and yellow. What a good pop of color against the greenhouse here. And we have our rain barrel and the flowers growing great on the top there. Petunias. And our ferns. Now we have our <clears throat> butterfly bushes that have gotten pretty high. Um, still have a lot of growth left to do. Uh, for the rest of this summer, but they're already blooming. You can see purple, and we should have a, <clears throat> some white ones coming in right here in the middle. And then again, we have some purple over here. So when these bloom a little bit more, uh, we have our hummingbirds that come over. Um, and a ton of butterflies, all different varieties. Uh, dragonflies as well, they get attracted to the pollen from the butterfly bushes. And butterfly bushes are invasive, so sometimes I'll see a seed got planted across the lawn or across the garden in some mulch, and I have to remove it unless I really want another butterfly bush plant there. But those have done quite well. We have our giant hostas that have now acclimated. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these come back next year, hopefully in a clump that's a little bit thicker. We have our hostas that are blooming. And surrounding those are black-eyed Susans. And those have to be, they're almost waist high for me. I'd say they're two and a half, three feet tall. We have our hydrangeas. And you can see how much those uh, black-eyed Susans are crowding out this hydrangea. I have to cut back next year on those if they become a little bit more overcrowded, which they will. But these are just beautiful. So we have a light pink variety. I believe these were cottage farms. Our still bees, white and pink. And then we have a hot pink hydrangea. Close to that. We have that random hosta that grew that's blooming. I'll relocate that next year. Uh, when it shows up in the spring, I'll relocate it. Then we have our catmint. And it looks like nothing's been attracted to it outside of it just serving a purpose as a pollinator. Um, we'll probably find a cat coyote or a fox in there. They'll just sit right in it and we'll notice that right away. You can see now, um, only a few weeks later, our irises have finished blooming, but all the uh, Astelladoros are doing great. There's over 10 Astelladoros there that I've split up. 
And on this side, we have all of our berries, and it is quite the thing this summer. I cut these back, the canes back last year, well, the year before last year, and didn't get much of a turnout. So this past spring, all of the deer came through and just naturally ate the canes. And I let it go, and we didn't over fertilize it. Um, I didn't put any calcium down. And they just naturally are taking all of the nutrients from the rich soil that we've been putting there from our compost bin over the last 12 or so years. They're really liking it. So our blackberry has a cane that's at least 12 feet tall. Um, I can't support it anymore with the structure I have here. But you can see the blackberries this year will be the last. Maybe August we can enjoy that. But we have had a ton of red berries. We have had a ton of yellow berries. It's like a jungle. Every day I could come and get a whole hand more than a handful, probably two pounds of berries. Since end of June. So the birds love it over here, you can tell. It's a very private place. You get a lot of birds um, nesting and then re-nesting in there. Our peony bush. And our composter on this side. Here we have our pepper plants and they're all thriving. And we had one that died in this bin. If you can spot it, try to. I'll give you three seconds. It's this one. That weed is like an imposter and it's kind of like camouflaging itself as one of these peppers. I don't know why, but I haven't weeded this bin. You can see how much the sheeting does benefit the plant. Um, it's quite high in areas where there's weeds growing beneath it. You just reach down, you know, beneath the soil, uh, soil covering or plastic mulch and um, weed them out. And I'll have to go through and do that. Get rid of this imposter. Oh boy. Here we have our strawberry bin. And it's dormant now. No more berries are forming. But what it does after berries form produces these. Which if I pin this into soil, little pot of soil, this would be, I could grow some roots off of this end, which there's already some roots there. And then um, cut this and I'd have a whole new plant to share with somebody or replant somewhere else. So now that's forming those, they like to fall over the bin. And we'll see more of those next month. Here's our leftover bin with our tomatoes and our peppers. These are beef steak. And you can see there's a ton of these. Same varieties in the front porch earth bins. And I'll put a picture towards the end of the video to show you the progress on those. They're roughly the little bit larger actually in the earth bins than they are here. We don't have the same support structure. Um, so they're leaning over and growing more towards the ground. But they are supported. And here's our herb bin. And we have our thyme that's still flowering. I don't quite use the thyme for anything but poultry. And more towards November, I'll come out here and uh, cut back the thyme and use it. The mint, I'm going to have to uh, make some mint tea. We never had this much mint, and I've never had um, 
mint grow back. So I don't know if it's um, the variety because this is chocolate mint, but I've tried spearmint and that never took off in this bin before. So here's our basil plant and our onions. You can see the tops are spent. Those are full of seeds and I just will come out here and uh, chop those off. And it looks nice when they're um, growing in this bin. Can use those onions for a variety of recipes. And here we have our parsley. That's finally getting big. So we'll enjoy that with some uh, pasta, spaghetti. So thank you for watching our video and I'll put an update for August. Have a great rest of July.